Hello everyone, uh, this is Rajendra and in this particular video we are going to discuss about a very important Python data structure that is list. Okay, so we are going to see the practical in the Jupyter notebook. Okay, so this is a very highly rated ID for Python related programming as well as uh, basically for learning purpose it's a very useful. So I have a, another video where I'll, I have explained about how this uh, ID works and how it will be helpful for learning purpose. Okay, so uh, you can go and watch that video. So let's start with a Python list. Okay, so let's try to first understand the properties of list. Okay, so list is a collection of collection of heterogeneous element. Okay, heterogeneous elements. So when I say heterogeneous means what? Okay, it can have all the different types of data okay it can have uh, integer string or even any other data structure as well right so that's why we call it as a collection of heterogeneous element the next important pro property of the list it's a mutable okay so mutable means what we can modify the element of the list okay the next property that we have it's, it's a sequential okay when we say sequential means what all the elements of the list are stored sequentially in a memory and due to that we can access all this element by using index right so first element start with index 0 second 1 third 2 so this way all the elements we can access by using index next important uh, property of the uh, list is it can accommodate any other data types as well okay as we say it is a heterogeneous that's why it can have a other data uh, other type of data as well right the next thing is about we can have a duplicate elements okay we can have a duplicate elements in the uh, list so these are few basic properties of this list data structures so we are going to see everything practically right so let's see that the first thing that we need to know is how to initialize the list right so to initialize the list we have two different ways let's first see the first way okay so the first way to initialize an empty list is using the square bracket so the square brackets represent the list in python so this is the first way of initializing an empty list right so if i just print my list you can see if this is a list okay you and you can see the type of that variable so we have one type function available in python that will provide us what is the type of this variable so you can see the type of this variable is list the next way to initialize an empty list is by using a list function so python has one built-in function called list so if you want to initialize an empty list this is a another way right so let's see the type of this as well so if you see type is again list so these are the two different ways of creating a empty list so how about providing the element in the list okay so let's see so i'll use the same variable so we use a square bracket to represent the list and then in this list we can have a multiple element so this one two these are the two elements so it's a heterogeneous collection so we can have a string as well so i'll add another string that is rajendra right then we can have a list inside list as well right so for that uh, i'll add few more elements something like this so in this list we have four elements uh, one two rajendra and then there is another nested list which contains 100 and 200 so this is how you can initialize a list with few elements as well now let's see how to access this so to access this python provides one uh, iterator we call it as a for loop right so how to use that for then some variable name let's say x in your list right and then we can just simply print that x so how it works so basically this for loop will extract one by one element so for example let's say first it will extract one assign it to variable x and then x will be printed then it will take the next element that is two assign it to x then print x so this will it will do it for all the elements okay 
So now if I run it, you can see we got the all the elements of the list, right? Now the next thing that we are going to see is how to get the length of the list. So for that we have a length length function. It's a built-in function of Python that will provide us the length of the list, right? So length, and then we need to provide our variable name. So if you run it, you can see it is giving the length of the list as a four. So if you see our list, we have four elements in our list, right? So this is how you can get the length of the list. Now what if you want to? As our list is a mutable, so we should be able to add element in the list. So how we can add it? So basically we have three different methods to add the elements in the list, right? So the first method we have is a append method. So this append method is used to add the element at the end of the list. So how do you add it? So this is our list. We have one method called as a append, and then inside this we can pass some element. Like okay, let's say I am passing three as an element. So if I run it, it will add this three at the end of the list. So if I just print the list, you can see three got added at the end of the list, right? So if you want to add the element at the end of the list, use append method, right? Now what if you want to add the element in between somewhere in your list? Okay, because list is a mutable, you can add it anywhere. So for that, we have a method called as insert. Okay, and in this method, we have to pass two argument. First is the index okay before which the element will be added and the second argument is the element itself right so if i provide the index as a 2 okay so the first argument is the index second argument is the value that we want to provide okay let's say value i want to provide is 1001 so that means uh, our indexing starts from 0 so 0 1 2 3 this way indexing start so when we provide index as a 2 so 0 1 2 so rajendra is there at the index 2 so before index 2 it will add the 1001 element right so let's see if i run this what happened this uh, this method got executed now let's print our element uh, list so you can see 1001 got ex added exactly before the index that we have provided right so if you want to get the list length of the list again Let's do that. You can see we have total six elements now. Okay, three added. We we added three here, and then we added one thousand at one at this particular point, right? So you can use the insert element if you want to add the element anywhere in the list, right? So whatever index you provide, just before the index, it will go and add the element, right? So this is about the insert method. so we have next uh, again one more method called extend so what is the use of that extend method is if you want to add multiple element at the end of the list we can use a extend method right so let's say you have one list okay new list which contains some element let's say a then we have b element right these are the two elements we have right and this list new list we want to add at the end of your original list that is my list so how you can do that my list dot extend and for this extend method we need to pass some iterator like list so that is what we are passing here right so now if you run it whatever elements are there in the new list those will be added at the end of my list right so let's try to print our my list here you can see a and b got added at the end of the list right so these are the three different ways of adding the element in the list right now the next thing that we are going to see is how to remove the elements remove the elements from the list right so there are two methods we have to remove the uh, element from the list so first one is a pop method okay first one is a pop method so this pop method will remove the by default it will remove the last element of the list okay so what is the last element of our list it's a b so if i just run my list dot pop it will remove the b element from the list and it will also return it right so if i run it you can see it returned b and it also removed it from here okay so to verify you can just print your list and now you can see there is no b available there right so this is the default implementation of your pop method okay if you want to remove the last element of the list use pop 
if you want to uh, remove any specific element from any specific index then we have to pass an index so if i do my list dot pop we can pass index as well so let's say if i pass the index as 0 so what is there at the index 0 that is 1 so if you pass any specific index then it will remove the element from that index right so let me execute so you can see 0th element that is 1 got removed and it also returned right so now if you go back and print the list again you can see 1 got removed from 0th index right so if you want to remove the element from any specific index use pop method right now what if you want to remove the element on the basis of element itself and not the index so for that we have a remove method so let's see how it works so my list dot remove method we have right and here instead of a index we need to pass actual element right so if i pass 1001 instead of index 1001 it is actually will go and search for 1001 element and then it will remove right so if you run it now it has removed 1001 element so if you just go back and see the original list there is no 1000 available in that list right so this is how we have two different ways of removing the element from the list use pop if you want to remove the element on the basis of index use remove if you want to remove the element on the basis of element itself right so these are the two ways so uh, this is all about for this particular video we have seen what is list and what are the basic operations that we perform on the list okay so thanks everyone i hope everyone liked this video so don't forget uh, to subscribe the channel and like the video okay and if you have any question about this please write it in a comment okay i'll answer it okay and if you have any specific topic that you want to cover just drop me a message i have already provided my email id in my channel so drop, drop your comment or drop your uh, uh, question on the email i'll make sure that you will get that uh, new video with that particular topic okay so thanks everyone